Hello, this video was created especially for you, the parents and students of the Decatur Public School Bar here. District. In this video, you'll pick up a few ways to help your children improve with describing characters in the setting of a story. Now, why is this important, you may ask? It's important for your child to understand elements of the story, such as the characters in the setting, in order to gain higher levels of comprehension or understanding of the story. It helps them think more deeply about the story. It can also help them learn to write their own stories. So what are a few ways you can engage your child or children with elements of the story? The first way is to help them create character maps. Even young children can identify and describe characters in the story. You've heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Character maps are drawings which help children describe aspects of the character. Now, how's it done? I always found it best to choose stories with at least a few main characters so you have more than one character to map. It's also helpful for you to read the story before reading with your children and then modeling or creating a map first. This sample character map will give them an idea of what it looks like and how to complete it. Simple character maps for early learners are made by drawing a picture of the character on a sheet of paper, then writing words which describe the character attached to the picture with a line. As they get better, you can teach them how to draw three small rectangular boxes in which they can draw a picture of how the character changes from the beginning of the story to the middle and then in the end in the third box. Here's a sample character map from the story when grandma gives you a lemon tree which is a drawing of the main character and a few traits which describe her. The second idea I call the setting senses map. Remind your child that the setting is simply the time and place of a story. On a sheet of paper, draw four lines equally spaced apart. Then about one, one inch that is from the top, draw one line that cuts across each of the four. In each column above the line, write one of the following words, hear, smell, taste, see, feel. Describe a particular setting in the story you all have read, then have them write what a main character most likely heard, smelled, tasted, saw, or felt there. In a word, writing about characters in the setting can help them gain higher levels of comprehension, think more deeply about the story, and help them learn to eventually write their own stories. Until next time, Dr. Jabari.